I don't really have the viewers for this, but if you find this, that's cool. This is an open letter to my teenage self. I hope this helps. Mike, how are you doing? Don't answer that. I already know. I'm your future. Mike, you are a background character, an NPC. You still try to eat lunch alone behind the school in the tiny wooded area that no one knows about until your senior year. Mike, you're a teenager, toiling in obscurity, and you tend to beat yourself up for it. As your almost 40-year-old future self, let me give you some advice. Alone. I will tell you a secret about loneliness that you won't discover until you turn 35 or so. After the breakup with Shelly Ann, you will be the loneliest for years and years. You will believe that your solitude is a fixed point of reality. It will be part of your life and you will accept this. You will also be horribly wrong. The love of your life will blindside you. She will be everything you want and need and will turn your vision of reality upside down. You are not the enemy of female kind like you believe. You're just a man and like the song goes, you want somebody to love. It'll be a while, but she'll pour unto you like the rains on the Sahara. Also, stop calling yourself gynophobic. You're not gynophobic. That's stupid. Art. The only good thing that Shelly Ann will bring to your life is the way she encouraged you to work on your comics. Here's the thing, you will never be successful at it, you'll never sell a single issue of your comics, and you will receive almost no commissions or money. You'll never be known, you'll never get that break. Also, you will never find a more fulfilling pastime. You were born to draw. The few fans you get for your comics will be the best friends you've ever had. Your art is part of you. Don't ever doubt that. College. College was never for you. You will find you're just going to be making F's and paying through the nose for the privilege. You will want to go to college because you're just floating through life, and that's what people do, right? Higher education? But you were never interested in college. You just wanted the knowledge. College is for people who want degrees, not education. Later, there will be this thing called the internet, and that's where you will find knowledge on your favorite subjects such as programming, philosophy, horror literature, mathematics, and art. Some people need college. You don't. Don't go with the flow on this one, man. Don't be normal. You are an artist, not a cartoonist. And you're going to find very quickly that the art world hates normal. Normal is boring. You know that girl, Anna, in math class that you simultaneously have a crush on and also envious of her work? She's got it down. She doesn't copy. She doesn't go for fads. She just does her own thing and that uniqueness of vision is why she's so good. You'll figure this out way later and you'll never stop trying to be different. Break cliches. Don't copy styles. Remember, if they're talking about you behind your back, then you're interesting enough to be the source of conversation. Excellent. By the way, you will see Anna once more in your life after high school, and it will tear you up that you didn't get to know her. She will always be the brilliant girl you didn't talk to. Sorry, man. Feminism. Okay, this is a tough one. Mike. You are a sadist, someone who likes to watch people suffer. This aspect of your life will never get fulfilled, and honestly, when you're my age, you'll be glad about that. But because of the constant bombardment of women's rights in the media, you will truly believe that you are the natural enemy of womankind and fear repercussions at all times. You'll feel like a Jew on Muslim ground. You'll feel like you were born to be an adversary. 
This internal argument will give you nightmares and a psychosis. You'll actually come across a feminist who, in response to hearing that you're afraid of women, threaten your life. No joke, she does this without irony, too. But good news, you're not alone. And you'll realize that there are feminists, and then there are feminists. The real feminists search for equality, while the fake ones just want power over men. You'll see that there are people who are more broken than you that just want an excuse to be cruel. These people will never go away. They'll always believe that they are more equal than you. Ignore them. You were never the enemy of womankind. Besides, there are some women who are into subjugation. You'll come to know some of them on this place called Read It, and you'll weep because you didn't know they existed in high school. You'll also come to realize that even within pleasure and pain, there's this thing called choice. Choice is the key. Mandra will explain it better later and tell you that there are many kinds of freedom. Don't settle for a slave, though. The real woman comes along when you're in your late 20s and she's not a submissive. She is merely awesome. Free to wear sunscreen. Mike, there's this song going around called Everyone's Free to Wear Sunscreen. Listen to it. Listen to it over and over again. Memorize it. You'll find you're constantly referring back to it when you don't know what to do. It's just advice being read by a man with the musical backdrop, kind of like the Desiderata from the 70s. The best advice in the entire song is, don't worry if you don't know what to do with your life. Friends. You will keep in contact with exactly one friend from high school. That friend will be your quasi-brother, Little Mike. You'll drift apart, but he'll always call you when he's feeling nostalgic and, though it will kind of be awkward because he's usually drunk, you'll be thankful you still know him and that you still have that tiny root in your past. The group of friends you fall into after high school will be awesome, but you'll say something really stupid in the darkest part of your life and you will drift apart. The group of friends you gather after that will be really awesome, but you'll do something really stupid and drift apart once more. Picking up on a theme here? Stop being an asshole to your friends and trust them. They really care about you. They are not, as you think, patronizing you. Hanging out with the smarter people is probably the best time of your life. Eventually, you'll find a man named Chuck who is the strongest man you'll ever know. Don't let him go. Respect your friends. They're the best link you have to the outside world. Heartbreak. Shelly Ann is about to break your heart, and it's going to fuck you up for a long, long time. Your stepfather is about to do something that completely breaks your heart and spin you into a world of madness. You will never truly forgive him, but you should. He's still a sweet man. Your sister is going to break your heart, but she'll never know why, and you won't tell her. She'll later turn into one of your best friends, and not just family. Your mother will need your help, and you won't be able to do a damn thing. That's going to break your heart, too. You'll never recover. Through all this heartbreak, you know what I've learned? That depression is a perspective. The world rots around me, and then the next day it's bright and sunny. The future is shit, but the next day it's glorious. You will contemplate suicide until you're about 21, and then you'll realize that the awesome things in life are worth going through the storms. Stay strong in your darkest hours. There's something beautiful waiting for you on the other side. High school. Fuck high school. High school will teach you how to hate. High school will keep contacting you every five years like desperate mouth breathers because they want to relive the golden moments of their lives and you'll brush them off like the crumbs on your shoulder. No one fucking cares about high school, Mike. Your job won't look at your GPA. Your friends won't ask about algebra, even though you do math for fun now. The only good thing that'll come out of high school is how pictures of you and your weird Mexi fro will make your wife laugh. I'm not saying you should drop out. Just don't put a lot of faith in it. It's shit. Get by with some C's or something. 
You've got artwork to work on, mister. Anyway, you'll never really look back at high school. Literature. Mike, read the following books. No, seriously, read them. Don't just look at them. You will not regret it, and they will make you a better person. 1. The entire works of H.P. Lovecraft. Start with The Call of Cthulhu or The Color Out of Space. Avoid Dream Quest of Unknown Kadath until later. 2. The Bloodstained Rabbit by Sean Kennedy. Good luck finding it, but it's excellent and it's a beautiful rendition of what a horror novel should be. Even though it hasn't been published, I don't think. 3. The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy by Douglas Adams. Don't just stare at it. It's been on your shelf for years. Actually read it. 4. Body for Life by Bill Phillips. Not the corporate volume. Look for the original first or second editions, the one that Phillips actually wrote and wasn't edited for him. 5. Understanding Comics by Scott McCloud. You will reread this over and over and over again. Then you'll loan it out. It'll get stolen, you'll buy a new copy, and you will continue to reread it. 6. Seven Habits of Highly Effective People by Stephen R. Covey. Best found in books on tape form. Side note. The following books won't make you a better person, but are just awesome. The Artemis Fowl series, How to Succeed at Evil, and Anything Else by Scott McCloud. Mandra. <sighs> Mandra. Mandra will never truly leave you. She'll get quieter, but she'll always be there, like a whisper in the back of your mind. Trust her. Even when she betrays you, she's doing it for your own good. She's like your instinct. She's not always right, but she's always helpful. And yes, she chills the fuck out after high school. Kill everyone on the planet. Jeez, what was she thinking? You're not ugly. Finally, Mike, you will never love the way you look. You will always hate mirrors, your gut is always going to be too big, and your mouth is slightly crooked. That said, you're not as ugly as you think. Christ, man, you look great compared to me now. There's going to be times when women will hit on you. It's going to confuse you, but that's only because you have such a low self-esteem. It turns out when you talk, that huge vocabulary, that's what makes the ladies wet. Yeah, I know, what the hell. There's gonna be guys with great pectoral muscles and shiny teeth. They attract airheads and cougars. They can go have sexual intercourse with themselves. The women you want to talk to are gonna be the smart ones. So don't worry about your face. Just keep reading and expanding that exquisite word list in your head, and you'll find that you are really not all that ugly. Oh yeah, and cut your hair. Crud monkeys, that mop must double your weight. Mike, life's never going to get easier, and it will honestly never get harder. You'll always desire something because want never goes away. Want is always there. When you get what you want, you'll want more, or something else. I guess you'll never be perfect. You'll always find something to complain about yourself or the place where you are. You'll also be grateful for the blessings you have, your wife and your drawing hand especially. Be kind to yourself. You deserve it. And life is hard enough when you're not beating yourself up. Take care. Love, Mike. P.S. Do me a favor and don't eat so many spicy things. Thanks.